The following is a live presentation of Retro Sports Network, home of the champions of the past, present, and or future. Well, we put the baseball stuff away as far as the lunchtime entertainment is concerned and now concentrate on the National Football League. As we go back to 1984, the year that everything just kind of came together for the NFL in a good way. And with three, the first of three games this week. First, it'll be Miami and Washington from RFK Stadium in the nation's capital. Dan Marino and Joe Theismann. Tomorrow at lunch, it'll be the Philadelphia Eagles versus the New York Giants. The Giants trying to do better than their than, than there. It's easy words for me to say. They're nine and seven, uh, real life mark. And then Thursday at lunchtime at noon Eastern, nine Pacific, the Dallas Cowboys and the Los Angeles Rams. The Cowboys trying to hang on to their glory, while the LA Rams have Eric Dickerson and the start of his 2,000 yard season. And so. Three games this week. Most weeks it'll be two. Some weeks three games. Tuesdays and Thursdays at noon Eastern, which has just clicked. So welcome to the program. My name is Ron Chuckett for this last day of August 2021. We go back to the first week of September 1984. Hey, call your big brother and say he's on. It's time for some football. Let's start it up, shall we? As Retro Sports Network presents 84 NFL Replay. Today, from RFK Memorial Stadium in our nation's capital, it is the Washington Redskins and the Miami Dolphins. And today's game is brought to you by, although you can't see it on the screen, it's brought to you by DigitalDice.com, the best darn podcast on the web for your sports simulation and replay needs. Find us today on Spotify, Spreaker, iTunes, or wherever else. Find podcasts or listed. So, a light rain here in the nation's capital. 66 degrees, an ideal day for a whole bunch of hogs. And people dressed in, in fake pig noses to do that are there. It's a sellout, of course, here in the nation's capital. And you can see the starters on your screen. It'll be Dan Marino. Versus Joe Theismann and we will. How you doing, Mikey1962? And we'll introduce the lineups as we go through. The toss of the coin. And the Redskins have won the toss. As we said, the wind is not a factor here. A light rain, 66 degrees. As we kick it off and the Redskins will take the football. So Joe Theismann will get the ball first. It is the no, second year for Marino. Second year for Marino. 84. Unless he didn't start in 83. Hi, Kurt Berglund. How are you? So Mike Nelm stands on his six-yard line. He will be re the deep returner for Washington. Griffin and Say are the up men for the Skins and, of course, the jersey colors are wrong. Washington would be in white and Miami in their teal. The Redskins play for the return and the kick is taken at the goal line by Nelms to the 10. 15-20 over to 30 and he's hit at the 33 by Brown. And that's hail to the fun bunch. Absolutely. And that's how we get things started here. With Washington on their own 33. This was actually a late game, believe it or not, on NBC. Joe Theismann is your quarterback for Washington. John Riggins and Keith Griffin are your running backs. Art Monk at the near side of your screen. Calvin Muhammad on the far side. And the tight end is Clint Didier. Monk set a record in 1984 with 105 catches. Off tackle left, first play from scrimmage. John Riggins with a call. Theismann gives it to Riggins. He's over the 30, and he's hit at the 34 by Bowser. 
So Russ Grimm with a bad block, and Charles Bowser makes the tackle. Second and nine for Washington. And now let's meet the offensive line. From left to right, the left tackle, Joe Jacoby. Russ Grimm, who was excellent. At left guard, Jeff Bostick will snap it. Rick Donnelly is the right guard, and he smells okay. And George Stark, the right tackle. Second and nine from the Redskin 34. Muhammad on a medium slant is the call. Theisman back to throw. Theisman is sacked. The ball is loose and picked up by Theisman for a loss of two. Doug Betters, who looks an awful lot like, oh, a Grizzly Adams in that picture, made the tackle. Theisman will get credit for the run and a loss of two. He pulled it down. Third and 11 for Washington on their own 32. Miami plays a 3-4. Mike Charles, Bob Baumhauer, and Doug Betters. You better, you better, you bet. Who just made a tackle the right defensive end. The outside linebackers, Charles Bowser and Bob Brudnitsky. A.J. Dewey. Not something you say in front of mixed company if you're a Jets fan. And Mark, not that Mark Brown, another Mark Brown on the middle linebackers. Glenn Blackwood and Lyle Blackwood are the safeties. Third down and 11. Redskins go three wide. Riggin stays in the backfield. Charlie Brown is the third receiver. We look to Charlie on a medium slant. Thigh's been back to pass. There's a flag down. He throws over the middle. That's incomplete because Lasky. Sides, defense. Number 75, five-yard penalty. Got a piece of it, but betters jump the play, and it'll be third down and six because the Redskins are going to accept it. So they'll stay in that three wide opening series. And remember, in this game, the clock is not but that you see is not necessarily what it is at the snap of the football. Third down. Theismann out of the gun with Riggins. Monk on a medium cross. Theismann has time. He's going to scramble over the 40. First down and more. He's hit at the 50 for a gain of 13. So Theismann... Miami blitz with A.J. Dewey, and Theismann just ran it for 13 yards. First and 10 at the midfield stripe for Washington. Opening drive of the ball game. They will give to Riggins on an off-tackle left. Washington to the audible. Miami showing blitz. Theismann says we're sticking with the play here. Give to Riggins over midfield. It has some room. He gets a gain of six before Mark Brown brings him down for, on the tackle. Joe Jacoby, the left tackle for Washington, made the big block. Second and four for Washington. They are in their home whites with the uh, yellow pants or red pants. The burgundy helmet with the red face mask. Or my, I'm the yellow face mask because I know my colors. Miami in the teal jerseys, white pants, white helmets. I believe they had the teal face masks in 84. Short slant to Didier is the call. Theismann back on the logo. Throws over the middle and that's incomplete. Didier had to leap and couldn't get there. And it'll be third and four. Miami playing uh, three, four basic. So Theisman finally throws his first pass of the year. Twelve minutes to go. The clock has stopped. What was I going to do here? Um, Riggins. Counter tray. Trap left is the call. Theismann gives to Riggins on third and four. And Riggins gets three before Mark Brown. 
after a while ripped him down and the Redskins will have their first hard decision. Maroon pants. Okay, that makes sense, Shonikin. So 11.53 first quarter, ball in the Miami 41. Reagan's three carries, 10 yards. Two tight ends set. Griffin is there. Warren is the other tight end. They look to Keith Griffin. Keith says, I want it on an off-tackle left. Theisman, this time, gives to Griffin, and the C's part, and he gets the first down. Don McNeil with the tackle. The Dolphins played for the run, and Washington stacked it for two. First and ten from the Miami 39. Now a two wide receiver set, Theismann under center, eight plays on this drive for 28 yards. Monk, a medium out, as Theismann goes to the air, he's rushed, he is sacked by Bowser. And that is a loss of 10. Theismann tried to scramble and it did not work. See the sack again here. Theismann rolled out of the pocket. Nothing ever can be good with that. Second and 20. Big Dave, 11.74, says, thanks for the demo. You were thinking of getting it, but not sure. This is the first of at least 40 streams as we start the 1984 season. Three games this week. Tomorrow, Eagles-Giants. Thursday, Dallas and the Rams from Anaheim. So second and 20, screen pass to Griffin. Theismann goes to the near sideline. He finds Griffin at the 45-50 into Miami territory. It is a gain of six as Lyle Blackwood makes the tackle. It'll be third and long, third and 14. Redskins go to a three wide receiver set. Again, Theismann now the shotgun here. He looks to Art Monk. They need 14. Monk wants a long slant. Am I going to do a Cam Newton game? No. Theismann. He's going to scramble. 40, 35, 30. He gets the first down. It's a gain of 15. George Stark, the right tackle, ripped open the big hole, and Kulzowski made the stop. So Theismann is a scrambling fool. Someone told him he was Roger Staubach, and Fran Tarkenton rolled up into one. Opening drive for Washington, 11 plays, 39 yards. And Theismann is the big carrier. Runner in motion. Monk on a medium hitch. Miami sends a blitz. Theisman keeps the play. Wide receiver in motion. Theisman throws incomplete. He tried to find Riggins and couldn't do it. So second and ten. Theisman one of three for six yards, but he's run for a bunch. Clock stopped, 8.21 to go here in the opening quarter. Riggins. Trap left is the call. Theismann hands it off. Riggins over the 30, 25. He pushes forward to the 20 before Lyle Blackwood can make this tackle. Jeff Bostic, the center, with a big block there. It'll be third down and two. 8.12, clock running. First quarter, the Redskins have moved it all the way to the red zone. So Riggins is tired. Joe Washington is in the game for the first time today. Again, they're going to try to find Monk. Medium slant is the call. Theismann under center. Miami. Theismann's going to scramble again. He has a first down to the 10. Touchdown, Washington Redskins. 
Joe Theismann with three huge runs, and there wasn't even a toilet involved. 14 plays, 67 yards, and half the quarter. Joe Jacoby parted the seas, and Theismann ran right through it. Here it is again, a 20-yard scramble by Joe Theismann. My goodness gracious. Peter called, and they want Miami to change the name to the tuna fish, right? So Washington with the extra point. They take half the quarter in the process, and they lead it 6-0. Kick is up. Kick is good. And I don't know, not until Ace Ventura is called. <laughs> So Miami will get the ball, finally. Halfway home here in the first quarter, Washington 7, Miami nothing. So Blackwood back deep. Ball is, well, he stands on his 7. Heflin and the other Blackwood. Yeah, sorry, Charlie, you can't be called the tuna fish. And they will down it three yards deep. And I'm not sure if we had a kicker or not. It really doesn't matter. Yeah, Joe had his Wheaties for breakfast this morning, didn't he? He's run it four times for 46 yards. That's pretty good. And Washington isn't listed with a kicker. We'll take care of that in a minute. Well, after all this, Dan Marino is on the field. Remember, it's raining here in Washington, but not hard. A 66-degree day. Pete Johnson, the fullback. Tony Nathan, the running back. And now here come the marks. Clayton to the far side. Duper to the near side. And Dan Johnson starts as your tight end. Marino going to try Duper on a long slant. First play from scrimmage. Marino looks around. He throws. That's going to be intercepted by Daryl Green. And Green, the first play from scrimmage for the Redskins in a meaningful game. Green with the interception. First in 10, Washington. Here it is again. Marino... He had all day back there, but he threw in a double coverage, and Daryl Green just ate it right up. I don't know what extra point. Yeah. Mark Mosley is the kicker, and I think everything else is fine for them. So first, still two good legs. Yep. So first and 10 for the Redskins again. And Theismann, wow, 46 yards on four carries. Monk on a medium fly. Theismann to throw it. He's got time, and that is incomplete. Tried to find Griffin. Just spotted Joe's wife on the sidelines. Kathy Lee Crosby. That's incredible. <laughs> Second and 10 from the Redskin 39-yard line. 7.06 to go first quarter. Washington leads at 7-0. Speaking of Washington, Joe. Pitch to the left side by Amy. Trying to blitz. Theismann sticks with the call. He gives it to Washington near sideline. Over the 40-45. He is hit at the 48. That's a gain of 9. Mark Brown with a tackle. This Washington offensive line, speaking of incredible, they've made all sorts of big blocks. Two tight end set. Warren is in the game. Muhammad is out as a receiver. Monk, the lone wide receiver near side. Yes, Kathy did wear those nice swimsuits on Battle of the Network Stars. Riggins. Full back dive. Give from Theismann. Riggins is hit at the line, but he gets the Dale, uh, Dave Gardner measurement, and they give them the first down. So five carries for Riggo for 19 yards. 
Fran was on That's Incredible. Yep. A.J. Dewey, again, a name you can't say in New York, makes the tackle. So Theismann has run the ball, or the Redskins have run the ball 11 times and thrown it four. But only one completion for six yards. Sarah Purcell, eat your heart out. I was a Sarah boy myself. Actually, I'm married to a Sarah, so I guess I'm still a Sarah boy. But not Purcell. Muhammad on a medium out is the call. Theismann has time. He throws far sideline. Incomplete. Judson tips it away, and it'll be second and ten. Fran, you just lost another Super Bowl. That's incredible. We are in mid-season form on the first stream of the football season. Griffin. Trap right. Theismann hands off. Griffin tries to over midfield. He does. He's hit by Bill Barnett for a gain of five. You are always in fuego. And you're as cool as the other side of the pillow. Third and five for Washington from the Miami 46. Five and a half to go. Clock running. Again, they're going to try and find Art Monk. Medium out is the call. Theismann has time. Flag is down. He rolls right, throws left, and that is a terrible pass. Defense. Number 78. But it won't penalty. matter as Benson touched somebody and it's a dead play. How are you, Midlife Crisis? Nice to have you along. So first and 10 for the Redskins. 4.55. Clock stopped in the Miami 41. Washington scored on their first possession. They had the football for half a quarter. And then Dan Marino, trying to show off that million-dollar arm of his, was picked off by Daryl Green on Miami's first play. Art Monk, yeah, 106 receptions on the real season. They keep trying to feed him, but they can't get anything right now. Riggins. Sweep to the right is the call. Far sideline, handoff from Theismann. Miami read that. Bowser. With a three-yard loss, so it's second and 14. And they'll spot it at the Miami 45. So a couple new followers since our last time we were together live. The Real KO1. Thanks for the follow. And 544-H45-H4-H5. That sounds like a password to me, but thanks for the follow. What year did Reagan sold out? I think it was 81. You remember when he returned, Reagan said, I'm bored, I'm broke, and I'm back. <laughs> no one would ever accuse John Riggins of being a shrinking violet, for sure. Diddy are on a short slant. Theismann is in trouble, and he is blindsided by Mike Charles for a sack, a loss of seven. Yeah, Purcell was on Real People. I watched that one a lot, just for her. Third and 21 coming up is uh, poopy, is Poop Face McBuck Pants. I should do that in the scully. Is Poop Face McButt Pants in attendance this afternoon? Well, it's a pretty diverse crowd here at RFK Stadium, but no, I do not see the name Poop Face McButt Pants in the stands. There are not a lot of good play calls for third down and 21. Charlie Brown is now the near side receiver along with Calvin Muhammad or, or, or Art Monk. Yeah, that's a great name, isn't it? 404, clock running, and the page is not found. 
Monk on a long slam. Theismann under center. Can they protect? They do the throw. It is dropped by Calvin Muhammad. And the Redskins, nine plays following the green interception, only go nine yards. And so Jeff Hayes comes out to punt. The Redskins have run 19 plays from scrimmage. Miami won. Mark Clayton back to return for Miami. And they will let it roll. Hoping for a touchback here from Hayes. Washington has the win behind them. It rolls dead at the seven-yard line. And so a 45-yard punt, no return. We meant part of the Miami offense. They'll get it with 3-12 to go in the first quarter. Tony Nathan off tackle left is the call. Nathan from the 5, he shoves it forward to the 9. Neil Oklowitz with the tackle, a gain of 2. And that should give Marino some room to operate. Here's the line for Miami. Roy Foster, the left tackle. Ed Newman will read you the news. He's a left guard. Dwight Stevenson, an all-world center. Ronnie Lee smells good. He's the right guard. And John Giesler is the right tackle. Johnson on a short slant to call. Marino back to throw. Finds Johnson complete at the 20. Johnson is hit by Curtis Jordan after a gain of 13. And it'll be first and 10. Let's meet the Redskin defense. They play a 4-3. Charles Mann, the left defensive end. Big Dave Butts, the left tackle. Perry Brooks, the right tackle. Dexter Manley is the right defensive end. Mel Kaufman and Rich Mallott are the outside linebackers. Neil Oklowitz is the middle linebacker. Daryl Green, who already has one interception today, is one corner. He's on Mark Clayton. And Vernon Dean gets to draw Mark Duper. Tony Peters and Curtis Jordan are the safeties. First and 10 for Miami. Sweep left for Nathan is the call. Marino hands off. Nathan hit behind the line by Lokowitz. It's a loss of four. My goodness. Second down and 14. And the Dolphins are off like a herd of thundering turtles. 97 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Clock running. Clayton on a medium cross. Marino back to throw. Has time. He waits over the middle. It is juggled by Clayton. And then Daryl Green said, uh, uh, uh. And it's technically a drop. And it's third and 14. Don Shula marching up and down the sidelines. He's looking for a snowplow to kick, but there isn't one here. So Mark Duper on a medium fly pattern. Two wide receivers. Marino back to throw. Here's sideline. Duper's got it. First down at the 36. They pick on Vernon Dean. And that's a gain of 19. The Thunder and Turtles. Yep, a good name for a minor league club. I like that, yeah. So clock running, first real first down for Miami. So I think they have two. Woody Bennett is in the game now as the other running back. He'll go off tackle right here on first and ten. Hand off from Marino. He looks to the sideline, gets to the 39, and that will be the end of the first quarter. 15 minutes in the books here at RFK. The Redskins lead it 7 nothing. We'll be back in 30 seconds.
Captain Carl, how are you, Bobby? We played one quarter. Let's take a look at the digital dice game summary. Joe Theismann, four carries, 46 yards, including a 20-yard touchdown scramble with 7.25 to go in the first quarter. Mark Mosley booted home the extra point. Washington has had the ball 11 and a half minutes. Miami just under three and a half minutes. Miami has sacked Joe Theismann twice. He's one for six for six yards. But points belong to Washington. So second and eight for Miami. Nathan in the flat is the call. Marino near sideline. Nathan has it at the 35, 40, first down, 50, 45, 40, flag is down. Pass interference, offense, number 22, 10-yard penalty. And just like a bad Celine Dion song, it's all coming back for Miami now as Nathan pushed off. So instead of being a 25-yard gain and first and 10 from the 36, it's going to be backed up 10 yards. The Miami fans don't like it. Joe Gibbs just stands there and goes, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. So take that yardage off the board and spot the ball at the Miami 29. Nathan on the draw on second and 18. Hand off of Marino. Cross the 30. Hit at the 35. Now Lee, the right guard, is injured. He'll be back in a few plays. It, the clock has stopped. It'll be third down and nine for Miami. And Jeff Taze comes in to play the right guard. Three wide receivers. Nat Moore on the top of your screen. And Nathaniel. Medium slant is the call to him. Marino under center. Back to throw. Has time over the middle. Incomplete. Ricky Smith got in front of him and batted it down to the turf. And Lee is back in the game, but Miami, after an eight-play drive, will be back to punt. So Reggie Roby and his watch stand on the Miami 23. Mike Nelms will return this for Washington. Seven-nothing Redskins. They want to return it. Roby booms it near sideline. Nelms at the 9 to the 15-20. And he is knocked down at the 22-yard line after a gain of 12. So Washington takes over from there. With a 7 nothing lead. It is raining, 66 degrees, not a heavy rain. Really, it shouldn't matter too much. And obviously, teams should be flipping at the other side. In their muddy white uniforms, Joe Theismann is ready to start this drive. Griffin on a sweep to the right is the call. Flag is down. Griffin gets kind of a block. Encroachment defense. Number 73. But Baumhauer made contact before the snap and so you didn't see that play first and five for Washington on their 27 and they're going to try a long out to Art Monk Theismann sees the blitz screen to Griffin is the call instead they change the play Theismann is well gets rid of it to nobody. They double Didier and Mike Charles hurried Theisman into a bad pass. Second and five. So Theisman, he's done it with his legs, not his arm. He's one for seven today for six yards. Rigo. Trap right is the call. Hand off to John and the diesel gets two before Charles Bowser makes his fourth tackle of the game. Third and three. Washington looks around. Short slant to Calvin Muhammad the call. Theismann under center. Quick throw, Muhammad's got it. First down. Flag is down. It's a gain of 13. 
But it's coming back because Donnelly, the right guard, held. We tell you about it in middle school. You have to have separation there. You can't hold in those dances. So a 13-yard gain comes off the board. Third and 13. We're going to take that rain symbol off the screen. Hold on. Display. There. We don't need that. So third down and long. Theisman will work out of the gun. Charlie Brown is in the game again. Muhammad on a medium fly. Theisman from the gun. He's got time. Far sideline. Muhammad's got it. First down. A gain of 14 before Judson can make the tackle. Tackle. I don't know who you're rooting for, Marino or Theisman. Seven nothing Washington. First game of the season. Riggins and Griffin in the backfield. Todd B is rooting for Marino. Griffin. Off tackle right from the 33-yard line. Give from Theisman. He gets to the 35. Pushes out to the 38 before Bowser can make the stop. Second and five. Five plays on this drive for Washington already, and they've moved it 16 yards. Monk on a medium hitch. This time near sideline. Theisman rolls left, throws right. Incomplete. And if they get to 106 catches, it's not going to be because of today's effort. They have not been in sync at all. But the Redskins are 6 of 9 on third down. This time he looks to Clint Didier. On a short cross. They stick with the original play. Theisman. Waits, throws, incomplete. He tried to find John Riggins, and Riggins just dropped it. So the Redskins will be forced to punt from their own 38, 11.49 to go in the half. And for as much as Washington has dominated the line of scrimmage in this game, it's just 7 nothing. Jeff Hayes to punt to Mark Clayton. Clayton will return this. He's back at his 20, 25, 30, 35, well, technically the 33, as Big Dave Butts makes the stop. Bobby says, I'm rooting for Joe Theismann, I guess, since the Redskins are in the same conference as your favorite team, the Minnesota Vikings. So first and 10 for the Dolphins on their own 33. Duper on a medium fly is the call. Marino has time near sideline. Duper's got it. First down. A gain at 25. And I think now Miami's just going to pick on Vernon Dean. So a quick 25 yards. And it'll be first and 10 from the Washington 42. Nathan in the flat. Miami sticks with the call. Near sideline, Marino throws and is deflected by Malott. He thought he had the interception. He batted it up in the air, but it fell harmlessly to the turf. And Marino is not off to a great start. 3 of 7 for 57. Bobby did this season in mid June, or completed this season. What did you do it in? With Apple football, okay, Miami got Marino as ring, defeating the 49ers. Did you do every game? How did you do yours? Second and 10 for Miami. Woody Bennett. Sweep right the call. Near sideline. Hand off from Marino. He is hit at the 42 by Charles Mann at the line of scrimmage. C and D every game. How long did it take you to do? Greg Giardino would be thrilled with that. I know you know him. Let's 
Third down and ten. Nat Moore, the third receiver. Nathan in the backfield. Medium slant to Mark Clayton. Marino under center. Has time. He goes over the middle to Nathan instead. And Tony is going to get a first down. He needed 10. He got 10. Spot it at the 32 with Tony Peters making a second tackle. 10.07 to go in the first half. It is 7 0 Washington. Nathan will run a sweep to the near side out of the three wide receivers. He is hit at the 32 again by Charles Mann for no gain. So the clock running 9.22 to go. Nat Moore on a short crossing pattern. Marino looks, throws to the far side, and again, Daryl Green tried for the interception and couldn't get there. So Marino, and what should be an historic year for him, is off to a slow start. He's 4-9 for 67 in the pick. Joe Carter, not that Joe Carter, is in the game as a running back for Miami. They go to a conventional two wide receiver set. And they will work out of the eye. Medium cross to Mark Clayton is the call. Marino back has time. He throws, trying to check it down to Carter, and that is incomplete. And so I want to make sure they have a field goal kicker. It would be from 49 yards. It would be Von Shaman, and oh, he's got awful. Oof. And so Miami really in no man's land here at the 32. They can't kick it. It's not giving me the option for Von Schaumann. His long was 37 yards. Roby, by the way, can kick off. That's interesting. So what do we do here on 4th and 10? Four wide receivers. Jimmy Cephalo is in the game. Marino by himself with Nathan in the backfield. Medium cross to Mark Duper. Marino from his 40 rolls, throws to Nathan in the flat 30, and he'll get 8 yards. It'll be two yards short, and halfway home here, or oh, 8.31 to go in the second quarter, Miami turns it over on downs. It's the Redskins 7, the Dolphins nothing. So Riggins and Griffin in the backfield. Haas, 00312 is real. Thanks for the follow. About nine or ten months. Okay, did you get the real super real Super Bowl and all that? Riggins off tackle left. Thiesman gives it. Riggins near sideline over the twenty-five. He's hit by Doug Benders at the twenty-seven. It's a gain of three, second and seven. I did not expect this one to be a slobber knocker. You've got the two-time defending NFC champion of Washington Redskins against the projected AFC champion, Miami Dolphins. Monk, medium slant, Theismann to throw. Here come the linebackers, and Brudzinski knocks him down for a loss of nine. I already used that one. Pay attention there, Grinder. But yes. 
So Theismann finds the grass for the third time in this first half. They block well against the run. They have not blocked all that well against the pass, and it's third and 16. Brown in the game is a wide receiver now. He's on the near side with Monk. Medium fly to Monk. Theismann rolling, throws, and Muhammad dropped it. At the 30-yard line, he had to scramble. Miami has been in that backfield like a kid in a cookie jar all day. And Theismann just didn't scramble. He just threw it. Mike Charles is second hurry. And so Jeff Hayes will punt to Heflin. Hayes stands on his three-yard line. Punts it away. Heflin at his own 40. 45. 50. He's in the Redskin territory. They'll spot it at the 47. A punt of 40 yards and net of 29. So 7 one to go in the first half. It's 7 nothing Washington. Mr. Gardner, are you watching on your new big screen TV? So first and 10 for Miami on the Redskin 47. Medium slant to Clayton is the call. Marino back to throw. Wade's over the middle. Clayton's got it. 30, 25, 20, 10, 5, 6 points. One play drive. 47 yards. And the Dolphins have cut the deficit to 1. Here it is again. Clayton just outran the corner and had a clear shot at the end zone. So this from Von Schaumann should tie it up. Real Super Bowl, but had a couple different playoff teams. The Patriots finished behind the Dolphins in real life. The Bengals, a good team. The Cardinals, the part of that 9-7 and seven group in the NFC East. And the Packers. Von Schaumann for the extra point. It's good. So 6.48 to go in the first half, and this one's all shiny and new. It's the Dolphins 7, the Redskins 7. So Nelms, Griffin, and Say to return it. And seven yards deep, they'll bring it out to, for Theisman and company. Theisman is 2 for 11 for 20 yards. And that's even a worse joke than the one that Todd Buckeye, Todd B. just said. They have 81 net yards. The Dolphins, Marino is 6 of 12 for 122 in the score. And the pick. And Cleveland wanted the Turtles as a nickname, but they feared they would get shelled. Send your cards and letters too. Joe Washington. Sweep right on first down. And off from Theisman. Washington waits over the 20. Hit at the 24 by Mike Charles. Yep, Von Schaumann was god awful, which is true. But didn't have to do much besides lots of point after touchdowns. His long for the year was 37 yards. So you went with a bridge instead. I'm so happy. I can't wait till you guys play the Angels next year in Anaheim. So it can be the Guardian Angels next on ESPN. Griffin. Pitch to the near side as the call. Theisman does the honors. Griffin's got it. Can't find the block. He is hit at the line by Mark Brown. So third and six for the Redskins. Six to go in the first half. Art Monk, will he finally catch a pass? Medium hitch is the call. Theisman is back. He waits. He goes to Washington instead. Joe has a first down. He's hit at the 36 by A.J. Dewey.
Don McNeil is the corner responsible for covering Art Monk. He has done such a good job that even Mike Wallace is impressed with that coverage. 5-12, clock running here in the second quarter. First and 10. Redskins have it at their own 36. Rigo. Trap right. Theismann hands it off. Riggins over the 40 into the secondary before Brudzinski makes the tackle after a gain of eight. Second and two. The Redskins have 105 net yards as we're tied at seven here in the latter stages of the second quarter. Muhammad. Short slant on second and two. Theismann back to throw Miami blitzes. He throws. Muhammad's got it first down. And Calvin is tackled by William Judson after a gain of 14. He has two catches for 28 yards. There you go. Yep. Hi, Mike Wallace. Yep. I mean, a long season, you know. 342, clock running. First and 10 for Washington. Riggins in the flat is the call. Theisman has a Chinese fire drill. He's going to scramble 40, 35. He gets an out Red Sox fan measurement and runs it for nine and a half. So second and inches, under three minutes to go. Joe Jacoby, the left tackle, responsible for the yardage. And Bob Brudzinski with a stop. I think Theisman has more yards on the ground than he does in the air. Second and short. Riggins just rams it right up the middle. Hand off from Theismann. The seas do not part. And he lost a, an inch or two. It happens to the best of us as we get older. So Rigo, 10 carries for 28 yards. Third down and inches. They will get the playoff before the two-minute warning. Theisman calls his own number. He waits. He doesn't have it. He is just short. And we'll have the two-minute warning to figure this all out. Two minutes to go. The ball is on the Miami 32. Mark Mosley is going to come out. But we get to the two-minute warning. So Mosley kicking from right to left into the wind. 66 degrees. Jeff Hayes will be the holder. Mosley, a straight-ahead kicker. The 1982 NFL MVP. And would you believe it was awarded to him by Marty Marion? I can't believe that. Mosley boots it straight, true, and good. So, 1.56 to go in the first half. It's the Redskins 10, the Dolphins 7. Kozlowski back to return. No, it's a joke. <laughs> no. <laughs> Big clue. i got to explain this one. Brad during one of the baseball streams, got talking about how undeserving Marty Marion was of winning a wartime National League MVP. And I'll leave it to Brad of whether, you know, obviously he believes it. But it was a wartime year and whatever. I think he's, I believe, he believes it should have gone to Stan Musial. In any event, so every time the rest of the year when I had the Cardinals on, I made sure the first time that Marty Marion came to the plate, he was a shortstop for the Cardinals in the 40s, that he was introduced as the 1944 National League MVP. Just just to get under Brad's craw just a bit. So, <laughs> lest we forget. There we go. Kozlowski back deep for Miami. Mosley boots it to the 6. Kozlowski to the 10, 20, 30, and he's hit at the 32 by Kubin. So Miami... Has all three timeouts, you'd say a field goal, but Von Schaumann has my leg. It just doesn't exist. 
10-7 Redskins, a minute 49 to go. Four wide receivers. Nathan, who's performing at halftime? It's a regular season game. It's the uh, Bethesda, Maryland High School Marching Band, and you won't see any of it on CBS or NBC. So first and ten, four wide for the Dolphins. Medium slant to Cephalo is the call. Marino has to get rid of it. He finds Cephalo at midfield. How about that? A gain of 22 yards. He was wide open. Ricky Smith had to come over and get him. The Redskins were playing a 4-1 dime, and they had Clayton doubled. They go to the hurry up. A minute 42, clock running. Duper on a short hitch. Marino waits, throws. Clayton first down. Clayton to the 30 before Curtis Jordan can make the tackle. 116. Miami still in a hurry up. They have all three timeouts on the Washington 30 yard line. Duper on a medium cross. Marino waits, has all day, throws. Duper, touchdown. Oh, is that lethal? There wasn't anybody around. Mark Duper and the Dolphins go up 13 to 10. Charlie Jones and Bob Greasy were the broadcast team on the National Broadcasting Company. But today it's Ron and, Ron and you guys. Here it is again. Marino had all day, and there wasn't a Redskin defender in the area code. So three plays, 68 yards in 55 seconds. And Von Schaman boots it through. So 54 seconds to go, and the Fishies go up 14 to 10. Oh! I'll just say bad coverage, sort of like cable news, yep. Maybe a network in there. What was it? Was it Dan Rather's nickname for CNN was the Chicken Doodle Network? Anyway, here's Von Shaman. Yeah, <laughs> to boot it. And they'll take it four yards deep and take a knee. 54 seconds to go. And, man, this has changed in an awful big hurry, for, the, hasn't it? The Dolphins now have 199 net yards and only nine on the ground. Didier on a medium cross. Theismann back to throw. He is rushed in a hurry, and Betters gets his first sack. And Miami will call time with 45 seconds to go. Keith Griffin on a draw. Theismann to Griffin from the 13, 15, 20. He is hit at the 25, a gain of 12. Oh, wow. Bobby says, as we go to the half, 84 was also my first year in a fantasy football league. If, if it's a continuous league, it's one of the oldest in the country. Wow. We've played 30 minutes. Miami will get the football. Max Cornelius, how are you? We'll tell you all about all about it right after this. I think Todd with a tailwind, he could probably go longer than that, but he didn't make one longer. 
Uh, I'm doing fine, Max Cornelius. And how you doing, Mr. Slovak? Great to see you as well. Here's how we got here if you joined us late. Washington just controlled the football in the first quarter. Joe Theismann, a 20-yard run. Mark Mosley converted the extra point to make it 7 nothing. And then Miami here in the last seven minutes has scored 14 points. Marino, 47-yarder to Mark Clayton on a one-play drive to tie the game. Mark Mosley, a 49-yard field goal to make it 10-7, to Washington. And then Marino hit super-duper on a 30-yarder to make it 14-10. to So Marino, 9-15 of for 190 yards. Theismann, he's done it all with his legs. He's 4 for 13 for 46, but 6 carries for 56 yards. And nope, there has not been a catch yet by Art Monk. So the Redskins have owned the time of possession. Miami owns the scoreboard at 14 to 10. Bobby says, from what he read, fantasy football was started by sports reporters in Oakland in 82, and his league started in 83. Who won this game in 84? Um, I looked and I forgot. I want to say Miami. And I'm being told it's Miami. They will get the football. Kozlowski is at a six. Mosley is ready. Near sideline. Kozlowski from the one to the ten. And he's hit at the 14 by Nelms. So that's where the Dolphins will start. Nine seconds into the second half. Carter and Bennett, the running backs from Miami. Clayton and Duper, the wide receivers. Johnson, the tight end. Foster and Giesler, the tackles. Newman and Lee, the guards. And Dwight Stevenson, the center. Woody Bennett. Off tackle left on first and 10 from the 14. Bennett. Hit by Butts at the 16. A gain of two. Defensively for Washington. Manley and Man the ends. Butts and Brooks, the defensive tackles. Malott and Kaufman, the outside linebackers. Okowitz, the inside linebacker. Ver Daryl Green and Vernon Dean, the corners. Jordan and Peters, the safeties. Second and eight. Carter on an off tackle right. Marino hands off. And Carter is hit at the 18 by Malott, his first tackle. So third down and six. Miami, not a good running team. Eight carries for 13 yards and a half and change. Medium slant to Mark Duper. The call, third and six. Marino back to throw. Has Duper at the 40. He is hit by Vernon Dean immediately, but it's a gain of 21. Duper has four catches for 95 yards. And Vernon Dean feels like the kid that is last picked for kickball today. My goodness. Tony Nathan and Pete Johnson in the backfield. Sweep right to Nathan. Marino hands off near sideline, and Nathan is hit by Mann for a loss of one. John Giesler missed his block, and Mann was back there. Like a sloppy Joe sandwich. In fact, that would be called a manwich. As we pass the one o'clock hour here, a reminder that after football tonight on the National Broadcasting Company, a special edition of Silver Spoons, as Ricky and his family are evacuated from Cabot Cove, Maine, for reasons we're not quite sure. That's on Silver Spoons. Followed by Punky Brewster. Punky, does, Punky fa fails again to get her ears pierced. Followed by Amazing Stories. We speculate what might be in the future for Bruce Jenner and O.J. Simpson as they spend a month together on the French Riviera. And then the NBC Sunday night movie, Whatever Dana Plato Wants to Do. That's all tonight on Retro Sports Network. Second and 11 for the Dolphins. First possession of the second half. They lead 14 to 10. Yep, Ricky's train derails. <laughs> Tonight on NBC. Yep. 
Yeah, we've talked about second and ten getting graphics. They just aren't interested in doing it. Let them know, you know, that we'd like that. It would be wonderful if they did. Nothing against this game in any way, shape, or form. Clayton. Long hitch on second and 11. Marino. He's in trouble. He has fumbled it. He is hit by Charles. Banned for a sack. And Marino reaches over and recovers the football. It's a loss of five, and it's third down and 16. Here is the replay of it. In real life, I'm... Go ahead. He threw for five touchdowns. Two to Duper, two to Jim Jensen, and the other one went to, to Clayton. Wow. Yeah, Aaron Gray who made Buck Rogers a happy man in the 25th century, if I remember correctly. Three wide receivers as Nat Moore comes in the game. Third down and 16, 11.50 to go in the third quarter. Moore on a medium out. Marino back to throw. He's got time. He goes to the far sideline, incomplete. Pass interference, defense, number 26. But Smith... Played the coverage too tight, and that's going to be pass interference against Washington. And it will be first and 10 from the Miami 49. The Dolphins lead it 14 to 10. They stay in this formation. They're going to run. Trap right for Tony Nathan. Hand off from Marino at the 49 over midfield. He gets four yards before man can make the stop. Six carries for Tony for ten. Second and six from the Washington 47. Pete Johnson on a short flat pass to the far side. Marino goes to Nathan instead. Nathan's got a seal inside the 30. Wolkowitz at the 22, but not before Nathan got 25 yards. They had Johnson covered. Marino went to his second read, and Nathan was all by himself. So he's hit at the 22 for a gain of 25. On the sideline, Theisman and Monk are having a conversation. If the Redskins are going to make a comeback in this game, pending that Miami gets another touchdown here. Monk has to do his job. Sweep left for Nathan to call. Marino, Nathan, far sideline. He is hit at the line by Dave Butts. And that's his third tackle. Clock running nine and a half to go here in the third. Nine plays, 64 yards. Medium slant. To the tight end, Johnson is the call. Marino back to throw. He waits. He's got time. He's got Nathan again. 20-15. It won't be a first down, but it is a gain of eight. Tony Peters with a tackle. People making Bill Cosby jokes. We're above that. We don't do that. That's wrong, Todd. Have a nice pillow after you eat your pudding pop, okay? Carter and Bennett in the backfield now. Brad is doing an A's what if. Took time at the All-Star. Did you actually play the All-Star game for that or no? Bennett, third down and two. Two tight ends set. They change it around again. Nice. Who won? Nathan. Sweep to the left on third and two. Marino hands it off to Nathan. Nathan waits. He's going to get a first down and a little bit more. It's a gain of four. Okowitz with a tackle at the 10. Reggie was his MVP. A gain. Wow, a walk-off. 75 was in um, Milwaukee, wasn't it? A walk-off in Milwaukee for Reggie Jackson. Nice. First and goal for Miami. 8.07 to go. Carter and Bennett in the backfield. Woody will dive. 
Marino hands off to Bennett to the 10 to the 5. Touchdown, Miami! What a play! Dan Johnson, the tight end, sprung the hole. And Woody Bennett filled it. He just did not stop. And so it's a 10 point game. Von Schaumann, halfway here in the second quarter, in the third quarter, trying to make it an 11 point game. 12 plays, 86 yards. The kick is up, the kick is good. So that was a drive and a half, and it results in six points. Yep, 75 leaders for Brad at the break. Oakland, Boston, Philadelphia, and King Kennedy. I think the Phillies are the only oddball out, right? And they contended in 75. So Mike Nelms to return for Washington. They were up 10-0 in this game, or 10-7, and now it's 21-10. The Indians were in first as late as early June. 75 tops cards were great. Eight yards deep, they'll just bring it out. So no time off the clock. Leisman and the Redskins are down 11. Riggins and Griffin in the back of the Pirates won the division in 75, okay? Counter Trey Trap left to give to Riggins from the 20. He gets to the 25 before Mark Brown can make the tackle. Second and five. Redskins just need some points. They don't necessarily need seven. Three will work. But Art Monk's got to do some work. Short slant to him. Theisman under center. Dolphins blitz. Quick throw. Monk does not have it. It's dropped. McNeil, who has done yeoman's work covering Monk, just knocked it away. And now... The Redskins are 7 for 13 on third down. Theismann 4 for 14 on the game for 46 yards. Monk on a cross, short cross. Theismann pleading. Monk's got it, but he won't get the first down. He made the catch for five yards. He needed five and a half. And they're going to go for it on fourth and inches. Didier, Warren, and Walker, the tight ends. Riggins says, I want it on a dive. 6.27 to go, third quarter. Theismann to Riggins. And he did not. No, wait, yes. Yes! He moved it about a length and a half. They come back out to measure, and they give him the Dave Gardner measurement. And Shula is still looking for a snowplow to kick. How dare you mark that forward? He's on the field. They tell him to get off. 5.41 to go. It's a first down, and if the Redskins come back to win the game, that is a spot as mysterious as Patrick Ewing's draft lottery. Monk on a medium slant. Theismann back to throw it on first and ten. Across his body, deep, and caught. No! Riggins was open and dropped it! Oh! Oh, Riggins had a touchdown. He was wide open. Theismann pounds the turf. Brown coming out for Miami, by the way. Here it is again. Oh, he had six. He had six. saying Patrick Ewing smells like the 1930 Philadelphia Phillies. Need some life, boy. And it is hard to believe that Reggie went to Baltimore and didn't stay. Why didn't he stay? Did they just not offer him a contract? So, second and ten. 
Griffin. Trap left. Hand off from Theisman. Griffin is hit at the 33 by A.J. Dewey. That's A.J.'s fifth tackle of the game. Yeah, Reggie was traded to Baltimore. I did know that, but did Baltimore just not offer him a contract? Now, in your replay, Bradley, is Reggie staying? How long do you keep that team together? Kind of like Captain Sneal, because love... We'll keep them together. Brad says, originally, 76-77 teams had to participate in a draft in order to negotiate. I vaguely remember reading about that, that the Yankees did, and that's how they got them. Baltimore did not. It'll be third down and seven. Yep, Steinbrenner gave him lots of money, and Munson wanted him badly for that team, which is amazing because uh, Reggie and Munson didn't really get along. Monk. Medium slant is the call. Theisman back to throw. Theisman throws. Monk's got it at the 44 of Washington. It'll be first and 10. Yet you keep catfish in 75 and 76. Have you decided what you're going to do with the Reginald? So first and 10 for the Skins on their own 44. Trap right for Rigo. Hand off from Theismann. Riggins across midfield into Miami territory. It's a gain of nine as they pick on Charles Bowser, who makes a six tackle. So Riggins, 13 carries, 42 yards as we play the last three minutes of the third quarter. He's going to keep him next year, and you're going to let him leave. Well, be that way. I just started a 77 replay in Strat. And Oakland's in first place. In May. Medium fly to Monk is the call. Theisman back to throw. Near sideline. Monk's got it. First down. He is hit by McNeil after a gain of 16. And now the Redskins are starting to move the football. Theisman now 7 of 18 for 78 yards. Riggins. Will sweep it near side from the 31. Hand off from Theisman over the 30. He's hit by Benders at the 29. Yep. 76 to 92, 93. That's pretty much, I think, one of the better neutral errors in baseball. Anyway, second and eight. Miami trying to hold back the Redskins who have gotten it together. Reagans needs a breather. Washington. Pitch left, near sideline. Theisman pitches to Washington, trying to get to the near sideline. Won't get there as A.J. Dewey makes a tackle at the 30. That's a loss of one. So third and nine for Washington. They've run it 29 times for 139 yards. You'll see a lot of the 49ers, by the way, in this replay. Muhammad, medium slant to call. Theismann under center, back to throw, has time, has Muhammad, first down. He is at the 15. It's a gain of 17. They bring it down to the 13. Or it'll be first and 10. So the Redskins, 12 plays, 67 yards. They trail 21 to 10. Last play coming up here in the third quarter. Washington in the flat is the call. Theismann, far sideline. He's got Washington. Cuts to the 10, to the 5, and he's knocked out of bounds at the 1-yard line. And that will be the end of three quarters. Yep, we'll show you Art Monk's bad stats in a second. But the Redskins will start the fourth quarter. First in goal from the Miami 1. We've played 45 minutes. It's taking us an hour 19 to do it. It's the Dolphins 21, the Redskins 10.
can join the slate. Only one score here in the third quarter. Woody Bennett, a 10-yard run, and Uwe von Schaumann converted the extra point. Took half the quarter to get there. So first downs, 14-13 in favor of Washington. Net yardage, 269 to 213 in favor of Miami. The Redskins have had the ball pretty much a half. But Marino is the better quarterback. 12 of 18 for 244. And two scores. Steisman's 9 of 20 for 107. Arndt Monk, three catches for 32. Calvin Muhammad, three for 45. Excuse me, on the other end. Thank you, Bobby. On the other end, Duper and Nathan have had tremendous games. Mark Duper has picked on Vernon Dean like nobody's business. It's kind of like a digital adapt staff meeting when I get picked on by Dave. Four catches for 95 yards. And Mark Clayton has only had two catches for 63 yards. So the Redskins start this fourth quarter first and goal from the Miami 1. Two tight end set, two running backs. It's Riggins and Griffin. You can autoplay. You can zoom. I mean, if I wanted just to start every game in the fourth quarter, I could. So Riggo on the dive. Theisman gives to Riggins. And that is... No, wait, hold on. The ball was not loose. He was hit short of the line, but they say he was down. Dave and Al, or the officials in this game, are pointing at the spot and said that was not a fumble. So it'll be second in goal. And I think they're going to try Griffin this time. Reagan's now 15 carries, 45 yards. Keith Griffin on a dive. Theisman to Griffin, and that is six. He dove. Brophy got him, but it was too late. And it's a four-point game. Ben and Jerry aren't the refs? No. Colonel Sanders may be a ref. And so here it is again. Griffin got in. So it's a five-point game. No two-point conversion in 84. That didn't come in until 94. Colonel Sanders didn't show up. How do you know? He, oh, he didn't show up because he's chicken. <laughs> so here's Mosley, the straight-ahead kicker. This is to make it a four-point game. Mosley down. It, it is barely good. Oh, baby. He hooked it around the left post. Oh, my goodness. And so 14-12 to go in regulation time in the season opener of Retro Sports Network's 84 replay. It's the Dolphins 21, the Redskins 17. Kozlowski back deep for Miami. He'll take it at the goal line. 10, 20, one-yard line, and he'll go with the tackle. So the Dolphins... The good news is they have the lead. The bad news is they really can't run the football. And they need to take some time off this clock. Woody Bennett in the flat on first and ten. Marino goes to Duper instead, and that's a gain of six. And Duper has 101 yards on five catches. So a possession play. How you doing, Double Z? Hey. You can say Redskins, it's 84. Fight for all DC. Second down and four. Tony Nathan on a trap right from the 27. Marino hands off. Nathan tries to find a seam. He's got it. He got the Dave Gardner spot, and it's a first and 10. Nathan, nine carries for 18 yards, and Perry Brooks makes his first tackle of the game. Spot it at the 31. Duper. The intended receiver. Marino back to pass. He goes to Nathan instead. Nathan, possession catch. It's a gain of five. Tony Peters makes the tackle at the 36. 
So Nathan, five catches and fifth for 56 yards. Marino, 14 for 20 for 255 yards. Second and five. Bennett. Trap left is the call. Bennett, does he have room? He has some room. He gets two. Vernon Dean with his fifth tackle. It'll be third and three. Miami doesn't want to get too cute with it here. But they don't want to instantly hand the ball back to the Redskins. Who was my receiver that didn't have a lot of catches? Clayton. Mark Clayton. On a medium cross, Marino has time. He goes to Johnson, the tight end, instead for a first down. Malat will bring him down at, for a gain of 11. And it's first and 10 at the Miami 49. So Marino is matriculating. He now has 266 yards. Medium fly to Clayton. Marino, again, well protected. He went for Clayton, but he threw it too high. It'll be second and 10, 10.27 to go. Dolphins nursing a four-point lead, 21-17. Tomorrow at noon Eastern, the Eagles and the Giants. And then Thursday at noon Eastern, the third game this opening week, will be the Cowboys and the Rams from Anaheim. Can Eric Dickerson repeat his 2,000-yard performance. Bennett in the flat is the call. Marino to the far sideline. He finds Woody Bennett over midfield, 45. He's hit for a gain of eight, and that's third down and two now for the Dolphins. Malat, his third tackle. Miami is six for eight on third down. Clayton, short slant the call. Marino back to throw. He waits. Clayton's got it. First down. He is hit for a gain of 14. Daryl Green, who made an interception to start the game, makes the tackle. And it's first and 10. Miami has a fresh set with nine and a half to go. From the Washington 29-yard line. Tony Nathan, as you hear the F-35s out my window. Fullback dive. Marino hands off to Nathan, and that goes nowhere. In fact, Charles Mann makes a tackle with a one-yard loss. For those of you who voted on the Digital Dice poll that we did, what tournament would you like to see me do? Wow, Bobby... That's the pole my cat dances around there, Brad. Dickerson did for you 2,032 yards and the same number of carries. Well, you want to see more baseball. So what would you like to see? You didn't. That's why I'm asking you now. Because more baseball actually beat second and ten in the pole. So I'll do some more games. I'm not starting a new season. So tournament, playoffs, what would you like to see? Carter and Bennett in the backfield, second and 11. Duper on a medium slant, Marino back to throw. Danny looks, has time, he goes, tries for Johnson, the tight end, and can't get there, third and 11. Clock stopped, 8.19 to go. They are not in range for Von Schaman. From the Washington 30. They would need about seven more yards to even think about it. Miami, by the way, is going into the wind what little there is in the rain. So third down and 11. Nathan back in the backfield. Uh, it could be, although I'd like to hold it to probably no more than eight games. So be a one-off. We've done a couple of them. 70s and 60s and and all that so if there was a decade you want me to do eight teams or that 
we could we could do best world series i mean think about it people watch both and if i see something that strikes my fancy we'll do it third down and 11 now Nat Moore says can we just get this play over with Medium slant to Moore. Marino under center has all day. He throws. He's got Mo Moore dropped it. He was open at the 15 yard line and he dropped it. Oh. Oh, that was a first down. And now, what do you do here? You're going to waste Roby from the 30? Can Marino quick kick? Oh, Maldito will, never, will always be a sponsor of the channel. So Marino is going to take the penalty. So they're going to take the delay of game. Five-yard penalty, repeat, fourth down. So that backs him up to the 35. Each decade's best players. I'd have to throw that together. It's possible. You guys wanted more baseball, so. All right, Roby is going to try a poocher. And they hope to drop this inside the five. Nilms is there. He's not going to touch this with a 20-foot pole. Roby pooches it, and that's a touchback. It Offsides, rolled. defense, five-yard penalty. And so now what do you do? They'll decline, they'll accept the penalty, fourth and 11. And they'll pooch it again. Second verse is going to be the same as the first as that rolls in the end zone. It's a 30 yard punt. Shula looks over to Von Shaman, who isn't paying any attention. And the Redskins have it first and 10, 7.58 to go at home from their own 20. 80 yards from the lead. They got eight minutes, all three timeouts, and it's now a heavy rain. It's pouring in the nation's capital. And that is the first time I've ever seen the weather change in an action PC football game. It was light rain when we started. It's now pouring. Monk on a medium slant. Theisman has time. He's got Monk for a first down and a little bit more. McNeil drops him at the 13 for a gain of 13. Spot it at the 33. Joe Washington, a little Flat in the pack, pass in the flat. Theisman, Washington, far sideline, 30-yard line, 35, 40. He's got the first down. It's a gain of 11. So two plays, two first downs. Haas hate raid, okay? Yep, Von Schaumann, 2 or 12 outside 30. Yeah, he was terrible. He was absolutely terrible. So 7.05 to go, clock running. Riggins. Trap left counter. Flag is down, too much movement. Start. Offense. And Number it will 66, be Joe Jacoby who moved down. early. The clock is stopped, six and a half to go, first and 15. Griffin, counter left, gets the handoff. He is hit at the 41 by Brudzinski, a gain of two, second and 13. I try a screen to Riggins, but somebody jumped. Ball start, offense, number 74. It's George penalty. Stark, the Maybe right tackle. Second down. That goes five, and now 5.50 to go. Second and 18. This one has not been a crisp drive, so a fire for the Redskins. 
Medium fly. Kelvin Muhammad. Theismann under center. He's in a hurry, and Bob Baumhauer drags him to the turf for a loss of nine. It is now third down and 27. And if you thought there were not a lot of good plays for third and 21, well, 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 you ain't seen nothing yet. The killer bees have done their job. Theismann has found the grass five times. Four wide receivers, Charlie Brown and Mark McGrath is the fourth receiver. He's up top. He's the one that looks like an outline, a chalk outline. Brown on a bomb is the call. Theisman has all day. He looks, he throws deep. He's got no Brown dropped it. Charlie Brown dropped the first down, you blackhead. Oh. Theisman put it right on his hands. Look at that. Right on his hands, and it went through. It was a first down. I'm not saying it was going to be a touchdown, but it was a first. They were going to convert on third and 27. Wow. <laughs> Brown needs some psychiatric help. Here's a nickel. Lucy will talk to you for a while, you dumb blockhead. So Jeff Hayes is back to punt. Isn't Mark McGrath the lead singer for Sugar Ray? I don't know. Hayes. Ball start. Offense. Oh, yeah, because that's going to help. Repeat. Fourth down. It's important to have a false start when you're already backed up to your own 20 anyway. So Jeff Hayes will stand on his own seven yard line. This one got ugly. Here's a punt. Bu booming punt. Heflin waves his hand in the air like he just doesn't care. It's a 44 yard punt. Miami, 4.52 to go. It's not over by any means. They have it at their own 34. Duper. Medium slant on first down. Marino, this is trouble. He's going back to throw. That is intercepted by Vernon Dean. And after getting picked on all day, Vernon Dean got up the pause and fell right on the emblem. And the Redskins are back in business. It's the second interception for Marino. He started the game with an interception. Vernon Dean with an outstretched hand, and he just falls right on it. So 445. Off his hand, unbelievable. Washington in the flat. Theismann, far sideline. He is sacked again. Brzezinski, his second of the day. Theismann, he's got to learn to get rid of it. Miami has sacked him six times. The clock has stopped. 4.42 to go. Jamie joining us late, seeing if the Redskins can come back. Second and 15, draw play to Riggins. Riggo pulls half of Miami for a gain of five. A.J. Dewey gets credit for the tackle. Third down and 10. They are nine for 17 on the game. This is what we wanted. A good barn burner to start the replay. 21-17 Miami. Under four to go. Monk. Medium fly. Miami in a 3-3 nickel blitz. Theisman says, I'm good. Theisman is going to be set. Mike Charles. 
And for the seventh time, Theisman finds the dirt. Joe is not only going to need some pills to help him pee in the morning, but he's going to need a couple of battle, bottle of Advil. And on 4th and 18, I think you got a punt. You have all three timeouts. Do you really want to hand Marino another short field? Hayes to punt it deep. Hayes gets it away to the half limit of the 20, 30, and it's a return of 14, a 38-yard punt and a 14-yard return. Two and a half to go. The Redskin defense desperately needs another stop. Vernon Dean thought he did the job. He had the interception at midfield, but the Redskins took two sacks. Judge Judy Slayer, hello, is our newest follower. So two and a half to go with a team that cannot run the football. Carter, off tackle right, just to get the clock running. Carter gets a few yards. It's two before Charles Mann makes the tackle. And Miami will take it to the two-minute warning. So second and eight in a downpour here at RFK. Washington is all three timeouts. Nathan and Bennett in the backfield. Off tackle right for Woody Bennett. Hand off from Marino across the 40. First down for Woody Bennett and more. The ball is loose. The ball is loose. Daryl Green strips it out of Woody, Benny, Woody Bennett's hand. And Mark Clayton recovers it at the Washington 46. The Redskins call time again. Daryl Green did what he was supposed to do. He forced the fumble, but Mark Clayton, as you will see, was right there. What a hole for Bennett. It was just knocked out, and the clock is stopped with a minute 51 to go. Wow. Two timeouts from the Redskins. Handoff is to Nathan. Tony across the 45. He's hit by man the 42. That's a gain of eight. Second and six. Marino says I want to throw it one more time. That should do it. Duper on a short slant. Get the first down. It will be. Marino has Duper inside the 30. Hit for a gain of 15. Dan Marino is now over 300 yards. He's 18 for 28 for 303. Two scores and two picks. And that's probably going to be a low game for him on his road to 5,000. So the Redskins do not call time. 98 seconds to go. Dolphins in a slowdown. There's no kneeling. You cannot kneel. Pete Johnson. Fullback dive. Hand off from Marino. Johnson. Moves the earth two yards. Washington calls his last time out. And that should do it. So Miami has come into Washington and knocked off the defending two-time NFC champions. And an absolute barn burner. Give this to Johnson, and that's a loss of one, and with 49 seconds, it's third down. Miami did their best to give it away. Hope you enjoyed this one. 
Marino, yeah, he can kneel. So he'll just kind of flop in a victory formation. And that will do. So the Dolphins win a classic. 21 17. The only score in the fourth corner was that one yard run by Griffin. Washington hit 15 play, 80 yard drive to make it 21 17. Dan Marino, 18 of 28 for 303 yards. But seven sacks will do it. And so Marino is going to be your player of the game, 18 for 28 for 303. Joe Theismann ran for 56, but had a terrible game, getting sacked seven times. And so who did it? Two for Brzezinski, one for Bowser, one for Betters, two for Charles, and one for Baumhauer. Redskins, Charles Mann got to Marino once. Two interceptions, one by Vernon Dean and one by Daryl Green. All for naught. And, of course, A.J. Dewey with eight tackles. Miami does its job on opening day. I'm Ron Juckett. Thank you so much for watching. Tomorrow it will be the Eagles and the Giants from the Meadowlands. Until then, have yourself a wonderful day, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow.